Searching for Hebrew words in Logos. To search for Hebrew words in Logos, the first thing we need to do is make sure we have a Hebrew Bible, a Hebrew Bible that is tagged for searching. The Logos has BHS, you can get that, um, but I recommend the Lexham Hebrew Bible. Lexham Hebrew Bible. You can type it in there in order to see it, in order to get it up. Open Lexham Hebrew Bible, or you can just type in LHB. It is uh, their own version, um, and it is integrated more with the rest of their features, and it's also cheaper. It's 50 bucks. So we'll bring it up. Move the panel over here. So I already have it set to a verse I was looking at. First Kings, let's just move up a bit here. I guess I've got to type 1 here. So you can type in your reference here. So you can type in Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. Don't have to put the colon in. It'll supply it. So, Bereshit bara Elohim. Okay. Actually, why don't we do this? Bereshit bara Elohim et Hashemayim v'ta'aretz. Let's search on bara. So we have a scenario here where we're reading along. We want to know where else can we find bara. Does it exist in chapter 1? Right-click on it. And we have a bunch of different options here. The first thing to notice, actually, down here is that we have the, these codes with the at symbol. And that will tell us our full parsing of the verb we clicked on. So we can see this is a verb. It's cal, it's katal, or perfect, and it's 3ms. If the tooltip goes away, just move off and put it back on again. But we can also search by that. So let's click it. And we'll see here the different search options. This one here says search bara with that tag. Uh, Verb, cal, perfect, 3ms. So we'll click it. And that brings up the search results in another window. And we can see we have this particular form of bara, he created, uh, shows up in verse 1, verse 27, and also in chapter 2 and chapter 5, and then in other parts of the Bible. That's a fairly specific search. We're just looking for uh, bara, like he created, right? What if you want just create? Uh, anyone is creating any form of the verb. So to look at that, we want the first option here, the little circle thing. That's the lemma. A lemma is a, a lexical entry. It's it's the dictionary form of the of the word. In this case, we have a verb. So bara in the Hebrew in the Hebrew lexicons will be um, uh, bara will be <laughs> katal 3ms. So we click it, but when you click this form now, we go down here. We do have that same option we had before, but uh, that is specifically uh, Katal, Calcatal 3MS, but we also have just bara, okay? The lemma bara. So let's click that. And now we see we have a whole bunch more. We, right away here in chapter one, we have Vayivra, and he created. That's a Vayiktol, that's not a Katal, okay? We didn't have that in the previous set. In fact, every time you do a search, you get a new little tab, so you can compare. This one, we had verse 1 and verse 27. They're all bara. This one, we can see in 21, we have vayivra. We have a vayiktol. And all the other forms here. So this one is the most specific right here. Um, Although you can actually click on lemma, and that's one, that's one of the options here too. The next most specific is is the lemma search right here. You can also search by root. So root is going to give you all the words that have bara as a root, which is a bigger set than the lemma. The lemma here is going to be just the verbs because we clicked on the verb, but there are also nouns and adjectives. So let's click on the root, or potentially, let's see if there are. This here is now the root. It looks the same. Beit, Resh, Aleph with the number one, just like we had up here. Beit, Resh, Aleph with number one. But the context is lemma for this one and root for this one. So let's try the root. And we can just do a quick comparison on the numbers. We have 50 results here in 42 verses. And the previous search, we had 48. Okay, so we got a couple more that we didn't have in this, because it's a bigger set. And um, 
Now, I don't know which ones they are, just looking through here, but evidently there are some nouns or adjectives, something else in there. So we have three different sort of lengths of, uh, not, not length, scope. We have very specific, uh, the actual form of the verb that we're, or form of the word that, that we clicked on. We have the lemma, and then we have the root. Now, what happens if we want to search for something specific, something that we didn't find in the text, or we want, we don't want the cow, uh, the Calcatel 3MS, we want the Yiktol or whatever. So how do we do that? What we can do is just click search up here. It'll bring up a new search window. I think it's over here because that's the last thing I clicked, but I can move it over here, which makes more sense to me. So we're doing our searching over here and we're getting our results over here. Um, actually, before we do that, let me just show you, there's different views here. All these search results, they have versus aligned or analysis. Aligned is what I had it on, so it lines everything up. Versus is the normal way, just straight versus with the, the thing we searched for highlighted. Analysis will give you all the parsing in a chart and you can, there's a little scroll bar at the bottom so we can get the full window. You can also make this full screen if you want uh, and we can lengthen, we can widen these different columns. If we go to something like the root search where we have quite a wide search and we do analysis, we're going to see more variation, right? So some are verbs, some are nouns. Look at that, we've got a noun here. If I click on any of these headers, it'll sort by that, it'll sort that column. So click this, oh, double click, there we go, double click. Then we actually have, should be an up, up, ascending, de uh, nothing, and descending. That's what that little thing there is. So let's go to ascending. So we have two nouns of bara right here. So we have um, the versus, the aligned, and the analysis. Now, let's go back here. Let's say we want to search for um, a word that we didn't find in our text. So let's look for, for uh, davak. So davak is a word that I was talking about in a video recently, uh, to cling. So let's look for all occurrences of davak that are, um, what should we look for? Let's look for all the, all the three mass forms to begin with. The way to do a search, just a straight search, that's not coming from a text, is we need to type lemma. If we're looking for the lemma, I think you could do root as well. So lemma colon, and then we need to type our word. Now, apparently you can type Hebrew, but I haven't had six good success. When I type the Hebrew in with Hebrew with my Hebrew keyboard, it doesn't seem to work. I don't know quite why. I'm sure there's some reason for that. But you can just type the English letters. So, davak, so type a D, V, a K, a V, and then kof is probably a Q. Okay? And then, so these are the English letters, the transliteration, and then it gives me the options here. So I see davak, this is the verb, to stick, cling, or hold. We have a noun form here, devek, and we have, this is actually an adjective. So we'll click the first one. And then it substitutes in davak. Now, if we want something, so I can actually hit enter, okay? There's all my davaks. I've got 54 results, lots of them here. This is the most famous one, the first one. Uh, Therefore, a man, a man shall leave his father and mother and cling to his wife, right? And they shall be one flesh. So davak here. Let's get more specific. If I want to do a morphological search, like trim it down to a particular form of the verb, I can click here. Make sure you hit the end key when you're working with Hebrew because um, it's hard with Hebrew because it's left to right or right to left and English is left to right. It's hard to get the end of the line if you just click with your cursor. So click there, click anywhere, hit the end key. Okay, it'll take you right there. Then we need the ampersand, like this here, and that will put us into 
uh, all these tags, but we don't have to memorize the codes because it puts up all the parts of speech here. So we'll look for we'll look under verb, and let's look for cal. Let's just do that first, just the cals, okay? We hit enter. Okay, these are all going to be cals. Let's get more specific. We'll click, click it again. Let's look for all the calcatals. Now we've got all the calcatals. Let's say we want calcatal 3ms, okay? A smaller set. And in here should be, yeah, here we got 1 Kings 11.2. This is, this is Solomon. By him, ahava. To them he clung, Solomon clung in love. So you can go here and you can edit this. You can type in whatever you want. And all everything is supplied. You don't have to memorize any codes. If you once you start using it, you start to realize what's going on here. Cal is A, okay? Uh, PL I think is B, okay? So if you do this a lot, you probably could just type it. But uh, uh, let's see, Nifel's probably C. No, it's D. What's C? Should we guess? Hifiel? Hifiel C. Okay. Let's look at all the Hifiels, right? So there we got all the Hifiels. Va Yavdek Oto. Um, this is. But Yekach et Echav. This is Laban running after Jacob when Jacob flees. Va Yekach et Echav Imo. And he took his clansmen, his relatives with him, his brothers with him, Vayirdov Acharav, and he fled after him, that's after Jacob, Derech Shivat Yamim, on the road seven days. And then it says, Vayadbek. So this is a, it's a Vayikto, but it's Hifil, Vayadbek Oto Bahar Hagilad. And he, something about um, uh, clinging, but not it clings clings not quite the right word. In the Hifil, it here it means to catch up. And he caught up with him in the hills in the hill country of Gilead. So we roll over here. Oh, we don't see it here. Okay. I'm not quite sure how Logos works when you get a, the full parsing when you roll over or not. Let's double click it. Okay, now we bring up another window. Uh, it doesn't do it here either. Okay, let me show you another thing. That's really helpful. So that was searching. Um, but we want to get parsing and we want to see this in context and we want to see it linked up with, with English. So this is what I recommend. Let's close these. Uh, well, we'll leave them open. Let's bring up another Hebrew Bible, LHB. Okay. So it came up here. I'm going to put it over here. It's out of the way, or it's on the right. And let's do ESV. Okay. Now, they come up in separate tabs, but I want to see them both. So I'm going to grab the ESV and just start dragging around. If you see, if I, if I drop it here, it's going to be on top. If I drop it here, uh, there, it's going to be on the bottom. If I drop it over here, it'll be on the right or the left. So let's put it on the bottom. There. Now we have two texts. Okay, we got our Hebrew, we got our English. Now, if I scroll this, they scroll independently. That's not what I want. I want to link them. To link them, we go over here and we click on these three dots and we use this link set. So we click on A, we set that one to link set A, and then we set this one to link set A. And now when I scroll this, the bottom one scrolls as well. Okay. Let's see if I double click this. Yes, okay. I don't know quite how that works. For me, it's automagical at this point. <laughs> but when I double click this, it, it synced this up. Like it, it targeted this panel, which is nice. I'm not sure if that's always going to happen, but it did right now. But I do know that these two will, will link because I told them, I, I set them both to link set A. Now, there's another feature that's really nice. If I highlight this, it just highlights it. But there is a way to make, when I highlight this, to make the corresponding bit highlight down here, or vice versa. And to do that, we go here. So this is for linking, or this is where you find link set, the three vertical dots. This little pyramid, these are called visual filters. So we click that, 
and then corresponding selection, not corresponding words, that's something different, corresponding selection, select it here, and then do the same in our partner window, corresponding selection, and click off. So now when I highlight, you see that there? He took his kinsman. Or maybe I don't know what this is here. Vayugad lelavan bayom hashilishi. Bayom hashilishi. Which day is that? Oh, I go down here on the third day, right? So, or vice versa, I can say, what is the Hebrew for pursued him for seven days? And there we have it. Vayirdof achav derech shivat yamim. So, this is very handy linking up an English and a Hebrew Bible, the Lexham, Lexham Hebrew Bible, with the link set and with the corresponding selection set. Searching uh, by, right, by clicking on any of these words here. Okay, this is not a search window, so this is targeting this. If I want to search, then I need to search in a Bible window, the Lexham Bible window. So I could do that here, perhaps. Let's try. Right click. There we go. So I can search for the specific form or the lemma or the root. Let's try this here. Do the lemma and we'll search for Davag. Where's it going to show up? Okay, a new panel and it puts it on the other side. So now we have the results of that. If I click on this and it is, it is linked to it. So then I get the full the full context. I find my result. I want to see what the context is here. Click it, and I have it here, and I've got the English linked up to it. Right? Al Kenya Azov Ish et Aviv et Imo. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife. So, having a Hebrew Bible up, linking it to an English Bible, being able to right click and do your different types of searches. Uh, very specific, or lemma, or root, and then also being able to uh, do your own search. You can just click up here. You can move this wherever you want. I'm going to keep it over here so my searches are together. And then type in lemma, colon, type in the Hebrew, use the English. It seems to work better. So davar, let's do davar. Uh, let's see, bait, reish. Okay, select the one you want. Uh, to speak. Devar can also have some other meanings here. Let's do to speak. And then hit the end key, hit the ampersand, verb, and let's see, are there any cows for Davar? There shouldn't be. Oh, there are. Look at that. We have some cows for Davar. Not very many. Let's see if there are any peels. Should be a million. Look at that. Not a million, but a thousand. Okay, so that's how you search for Hebrew words with the Lexham Hebrew Bible and how you can link things up so you can see the English and the Hebrew and you can highlight. And uh, that should go a long way to helping you um, figure things out in the Hebrew Bible.